Hey guys, welcome back. BDCKR here. We're back with our weekly recap of all things Injustice. This is for the week of June 13th, 2024. Uh, we are recording this a little bit in advance, so we will not be telling you about the store, but if you are seeing this, it means that we got everything that we sort of predicted right. Yeah. So the current character challenge is Antimatter Sinestro. That is a one-week repeat. The required characters for that are Bane, Lobo, and Black Adam, who are silver, gold, and silver. If you're looking at the lowest tier, you can get each of them respectively. His passive is Fear Me, which is when Sinestro performs Death From Above, his first special. Two bars of power are drained from the opponent, and the opponent is forced to tag out. He's got 1,200 attack, 1,200 health, and was last available on the 14th of May, 2020. All right, so he's got decently high stats. 1,200 and 1,200 is pretty good. And he used to be amazing back when, I mean, when you say used to, too, I mean, he hasn't been around for four years, so even bef well before that. So back when the League of Assassin's Gears, uh, the set was broken, and we've got a video linking linked in the description showing exactly that, the gears would reset the power drain on tag out ability every time an opponent tagged out instead of when you tagged in. Mm -hmm. So Antimatter Sinestro being the only guy who could force a tag out was perfect for taking advantage of this. Not only would he drain power on the opponent in front of him when he hit a special one, yeah. but he wouldn't get it, right? But he would just drain it. Then the League of Assassin's gear would let him have basically infinite power until he knocked them out. Yeah. So it's easy to overlook the dr that draining two bars of power on special one is pretty great by itself. He just suffers from comparison to what he used to be. Um, so two pieces of League of Assassin's gear set is still good to get some power back but not nearly as much as he used to get, like just over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. um, we recently reviewed him during our Q&A season of the Lost Challenge characters, and that was just, I, I think, earlier this year. Season 11, it's one of the seasons. Um, so what we noticed then was that he's got a really good ranged special two. Multiple hits, can knock out the opponent on any hit, First hit does reasonable damage. It feels like each of the four hits does about a quarter of the total damage each, which is great. Um, force tag outs work really well. If you commit early and quickly do your next special, if you've got another bar of power and you quickly do your next special one immediately after forcing the opponent tag out, mm -hmm. you can avoid the incoming opponent's tag in effects. So for example, if Rebirth Raven is the forced tag in, you can do a second special one quickly enough that she won't drain you, yeah. which is unexpected. The special one takes up very little in-game time versus real-world time. So you can do multiple special ones. Maybe about... I feel like there's at least five or more before the invulnerability of Astral Harness finishes. So if you wanted to use Claw of Horus, you'd have a really good chance of shattering all the gear on the Astral Harness person. Mm -hmm. um, special one does full damage. Pro probably because the status effect, which is the Force Tag Out, is part of his passive and not part of the special. Otherwise, what you'd expect to see is half damage. Mm -hmm. um, now the problem actually you know what I just realized Claw Force would s suck on any matter Sinestro you know mm -hmm. why it would suck um, Force Tag Out yeah so the, the Gear Shatter effect you'd be able to do potentially five times during an invulnerability but you wouldn't actually know it because you would force them to tag out instantly yeah instantly. I guess it does in that sense burn your the use of uh Astro Harness. Guaranteed. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because then it doesn't cost you to get your power back. Yeah. And you shove Astro Harness away. Yeah. And then you can let them be invulnerable, not in front of you. So it, it kind of means that you don't need Claw Force. But it's yeah. not, it is actually pretty decent yeah. dealing with Astro Harness. Yeah. Because, I mean, Claw Force has other abilities, but the most important one is gear shattering. Yeah. Um, and so when they tag back in, their shattered gears will all be fine. Mm -hmm. um, Arkham Knight. So what you're seeing in this footage, and we're not going to talk nearly as long as we normally do because we're not going over the packs and stuff. So will maybe let you see the full double ultimate runs. Mm -hmm. uh, Arkham Knight Harley Quinn, which is in the first team, in the first ultimate ladder, it, she's kind of fun because she has a chance to do some damage on the opponent with each tag in and generate some power. However, her chance of doing this seems pretty low. The number of times we've done it, it's well under half the time that she'll come in, probably closer to like a third or quarter of the time. Yeah. So you're, you're, you're looking at two versions of this team. One where we have Arkham Knight Harley Quinn, like I said, and another where we use Red Lantern Hal Jordan to actually do what we wanted Harley Quinn to do, which is have power and then strip the gears of the opponents. Mm -hmm. Hawkgirl Prime is the perfect partner for Sinestro. She can lock opponents in when we want them to stay and we want them not to tag out. And when we want them to leave, Sinestro can force them out, right? Mm -hmm. So if we want to force out, say, um, 
Batman Ninja Catwoman so that we can do damage to one of her saviors. Like if she's got a Batman Ninja teammate to save her, yeah. we want to knock them out first. Mm-hmm. Or if, um, like you said, Astro Harness, we can shove them away. But once we've shattered the gears on shat- uh, Astro Harness they with Red Lantern, keep them stuck. We lock them in so they don't tag out and they get it back and they get the invulnerabilities back, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so there's a, a great, I think there's a really kind of great synergy in being able to choose to lock in an opponent or doing the opposite and forcing them out and being able to do that on the same team, mm-hmm. um, depending on the situation. I mean, oh, New 52 Shazam is a perfect example of this. When they're invulnerable mm-hmm. and there's another opponent, force them out. Yeah. Or if they are, before they've reached invulnerability, force them out. Mm-hmm. Um, For sure. Yeah, having that control. It's You know where you see this? The, the opposite and the corollary that sort of explains or intuitively gives you a feel for why it's so good yeah. is the, um, the survivor fights where you are random tag out and you mm. have no control. Yeah. Cause you can basically do a version of that. That's even more powerful by deciding and looking at the fight and saying, yeah, I don't want them in front of me or yeah, I want somebody else. Mm-hmm. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. So we are seven weeks into sort of uncharted territory. We expect next week to be gaslight Batman. Uh, no, we don't. no, sorry. We don't. <laughs> Why am I? I'm. No, Glass of Bad was the first. That was a wild story. Back. That was the first one in it. So we expect next week to potentially be Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman. Yeah, because the way they've been doing it is putting it a, a lost character plus what would have been the challenge cycle if it hadn't been interrupted. So they're alternating. Yeah. So the the one that should have been after Blackest Night Batman was Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman. Instead, it's Anti Matter yeah. Sinestro. So so hopefully we're right about this and next week. Yeah. So we'll that's this is week seven mm-hmm. of. Since the the repeating cycle ended, and there's still 19 more challenge characters that we need. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Moving on to the multiplayer reward, we have the Gingo Fruit, which becomes Gingold Soda. Uh, when it's maxed out, it gives you a 30% damage reduction from basic attacks. It Blocking stops 22% more damage. You get a 35% damage reduction from crit attacks and a 20% chance to take no damage from basic attacks. The last available on the 9th of November, 2023. This pattern has been going on for a very long time. And next week we expect to be Necron's Scythe. And we don't expect this one to change because there's no missing multiplayer rewards yeah. that need to be reintroduced. No reason for it to change. And so I guess one of the things is the reason why we never really had a pattern for the longest time for the challenge characters was because they kept on introducing new challenge characters. Yeah. So they had to find somewhere in the cycle to fit them. And they mm-hmm. would just randomly seem to shove them anywhere. Yeah. And it's only when they stopped introducing challenge characters that we had any sort of certainty, but they stopped it, you know, they, they stopped changing it in a way while missing like 23 characters. Yeah. More yep. than a third of the characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, all right. Ginkgo Solda. This is a great piece of defensive equipment. So when you use it on the right character with the right combination of gears, you can avoid taking any basic damage at all. Mm -hmm. And we demonstrated this on Regime Nightwing, the Silver Nightwing, and it is the main video on our um, page, YouTube page, or homepage, Mm -hmm. or whatever you call it. Um, So that video has has Regime Nightwing with Gingold Soda, which reduces basic damage by 30%. He's got Killer Croc Companion Gear, which reduces basic damage by 20% more, and his passive that reduces basic damage in half. So he's taking zero basic damage. And in fact, on this loadout, the evolved ability of 20% chance to take no damage from basics doesn't come into play at all because you take 50 plus 30 plus 20 already gives you zero damage. And even if it hits, um, nothing's happening. Yeah, except for power generation, I guess. Do they still get? I mean, so when I think you're fighting, they do, don't they? Yeah, I think they still get it because when you yeah. fight against Astro Harness and you keep on taking swings, you still get um, yeah. power even if you miss, as long as you should have hit. So that's the only sort of disadvantage of it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, the the funny thing is, I've, I said this before. It's too bad it isn't like extreme couponing where you could bank that twenty percent chance and save it for later. So the next, oh, like the would... next non basic damage, yeah, hit? Yeah, that'd yeah, be silly. Yeah. yeah. So on on Regime Nightwing because he's got that passive you still have one more gear slot free to use however you want. And Razzle's Scimitar is really good because it keeps draining power, as does his own special one. So teammates can stay safe, building up power, while Nightwing just totally tanks it, takes no basic damage, keeps the opponent from generating power, so he's unlikely to take a special. Yeah. Um, or, you know, your third gear could be damage over time gears, which take a percentage of the opponent's health, no matter how high their health is, and then he becomes pretty spectacular, mm-hmm. where he's 
can hit way above his weight class and not take damage from basic attacks and slowly eat away all the health of the opponent. Yeah. Um, we've done that with Arcanite Batman to make him invulnerable using Gold Soda. It required New 52 Shazam as a teammate to give the extra 25% damage reduction. Mm -hmm. um, another way we used to use this is in our original Justice League team on New 52 Superman. And like Arkham Knight Batman, it takes the third slot to reduce him to zero basic damage. Um, so when he's holding three bars of power and he's got Batman Ninja Helmet to reduce damage taken, but based on how much power he's holding, New 52 Superman's um, passive reduces damage by 30% if he's got two Justice League teammates, and then he's basically invulnerable. Yeah. Um, so normally we don't like to do full tanks, um, but New 52 Superman's passive, which lets him uh, boost his damage without any gears, mm -hmm. he works really well with New 52 Wonder Woman. She gives him a lot of power. He's invulnerable already, and mm -hmm. she's basically charging him up into an offensive monster. Yeah. So yeah. there we go. Uh, so like we said, we're not going to go through the store because we just simply don't know. Uh, what we can say... Is Phantom Zone. It's Phantom Zone. Right? Yeah, one yeah. more week left. Uh, we can say last weekend's breakthrough for golds was Lex Luthor, Batman, and Doomsday. And this coming weekend should be Bane, Killer Frost, and Ares. Uh, and we can talk a little bit about the glitches, right? This is not the first week of the month. Uh, the 6th of June is the video uh, where we go into more detail. Uh, what's important is, as of last week... The challenge uh, reset was working. Normally, we try to test the reset uh, on the right. most up-to-date one, but we obviously can't do that because we don't have it yet. Right. Uh, and we can confirm, obviously, that it will reset your Phantom Zone progress. And just a reminder, only reset progress on one if you're willing to reset progress on both because it's the same glitch, right? It'll right. reset progress on all the stuff that's like live and right. server-based. So that is right. challenge and Phantom Zone both. So I'm going to point out that we're not going to be talking for the whole 20 minutes of this, but this is so that you can see the second ultimate ladder yeah. with Red Lantern Hal Jordan and how much more effective he is. As much as we want Arkham Knight Harley Quinn to be good because of her passive, and this is a great opportunity to take advantage of it if you can, it, it processes so rarely mm -hmm. that it's not an effective strategy. You don't get to have her come in. Mm consistently with two bars of power to strip the gears on yeah. the opponent so sit back watch and enjoy uh and we'd like to finish up by giving a huge thank you to our lovely patrons on patreon i'll let you do that this week right all right so that is a big thank you to michael devries urban ruiz hoshi 127 nora Klimic, and paulo caesar pablo juan who are supporting us on a credited level and five by five who's supporting us on the gratitude level thank you so much for your support thanks so much to all of you for watching we'll see you next time Komoda. Komoda.